Joining us tonight, Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch. Tom, good to see you. And Hello. let's start with Susan Rice trying to rationalize the Obama administration doing precisely the same thing. Well, President Trump was, uh, his White House was targeted with illegal leaks of classified conversations with foreign leaders. They're presumptively classified. Uh, we know because we ask for this material of, uh, all the time and we can't get it because it's classified. In fact, the Trump administration wouldn't let us have two transcripts Obama had about Benghazi uh, that were found in Hillary Clinton's emails. Why? Because they were classified and not for dissemination. Right. Uh, so uh, the president is protecting our national security by putting this stuff in a server, uh, which is designed to protect it from uh, being disseminated criminally, which has happened repeatedly in his White House, including right. with this whistleblower complaint. And also, of course, with two pre uh, conversations with two... Uh uh, two previous conversations with foreign leaders. Uh, the the uh, Trump administration ramping up its investigation of those Clinton emails. You have kept up your investigation uh, nonstop throughout. Uh, this is interesting that now 130 officials, uh, according to the Washington Post, uh, have, uh, have been uh, contacted by State Department investigators. How serious is this, and uh, is this really a, is this something of a breakthrough? Well, it's seven years too late. They've known about Clinton's misuse of emails for years, and they're finally getting around to asking her co-conspirators in the State Department that seemingly were mishandling classified information mm -hmm. by sending it around willy-nilly, contrary to the rules and regulations and law. And now they're, def now they're complaining about it to the Washington Post. What's interesting is the timing, because a federal court judge in our case excoriated the State Department and the Justice Department about its continued cover-up mm -hmm. and mis and, and uh, during during the Obama administration into this administration and granted us new discovery in August as well so I, I hope the State say, Department's beginning to listen you know I have to say you you and Judicial Watch are doing amazing work but the time that it takes to get a response. Timeliness is also critically important, as you know better than nearly anyone. Uh, on this material, it's fungible in its importance and uh, the ability to act upon the information you garner, and that's precisely why there are so many delays. I, I want to just turn to uh, a, DAO, a DOJ official uh, has confirmed to Fox uh, News that Attorney General Barr asked the president to make a number of introductions uh, to uh, foreign countries that uh, that are part of the investigation into the investigators uh, that Attorney General Barr and John Durham are leading. Uh, that's a, that's a fascinating revelation. Well, I know the deep state is crazy about it because they're afraid that they're going to be prosecuted. Uh, but uh, I, I applaud the president for making these calls. He should be calling the foreign leaders and the foreign governments involved in the illegal targeting of him and his associates and the abuses of our powers, mm -hmm. uh, of, of the uh, powers that we give our government under our intelligence laws to spy on him and others in concert with these foreign nationals. He should be calling them up. And frankly, he should call the Ukrainians up and make sure they actually are investigating this scandal. They want to freeze the Kukabal and a Democratic party implicated in this criminal activity. They want to freeze the Justice Department from doing anything to hold them to account. And that's why they're abusing the law, pursuing the coup against Trump now through this fraudulent impeachment process and these illegal leaks disguised as, an, as a whistleblower complaint. Yeah, the, the day that a CIA officer is a legitimate uh, uh, whistleblower uh, in the White House uh, it will be an extraordinary day. Oops. This seems to be that extraordinary, exceptional moment in history. Uh, Tom Fenton, we'll take it up with you on the next uh, discussion. I'll look forward to it soon. Tom Fenton, Judicial Watch.